Welcome back to another installment of the driveway build series here on XI Tuning. Now, last week we pulled the engine. That was a bit of an adventure. Uh, during the week, I was originally intending on putting the engine on an engine stand, but I went a little bit different route. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what that is. That being a motorcycle lift. Um, instead, because I'm not fully rebuilding the engine, just doing some uh, replacements and refurbish refurbishment, if you will, the motorcycle lift just fit the bill better. So it's out there, it's strapped onto it. The transmission is here in a pan uh, off of the engine. And this week, the plan is to install the crane camshafts and Crower valve springs. <clears throat> now, again, this is more of a budget street strip build, something that while it is going to take some money to do, it's not an all out crazy high horsepower build. <clears throat> I'm replacing the valve springs for the higher lift cam, but I'm leaving the factory retainers. <clears throat> I don't need to rev to the moon. 6,500 to 6,000 is probably going to do uh, anything and everything that I want to do at this time. So I'm leaving the factory steel retainers. They are heavier than the titanium retainers, but for this build, it's going to work out. The Crower valve springs are probably the um, most inexpensive aftermarket valve springs. And from what I can tell, they're actually built by the same people that make the crane valve springs, just like 15 to $20 cheaper. So that's what I went with. The crane camshafts, which have been discontinued by crane. Um, I picked those up on Facebook Marketplace, or actually a Facebook uh, SRT4 group. They're a mismatched set. The intake is a crane 18 and the exhaust is a crane 16. Now that may be not exactly the, the best combination, but I think, and especially for the price, it's going to work out really, really well. So that's the plan for today. I'm going to go out, I'm going to pull the timing cover set out, or timing cover off, the harmonic balancer, all of that good stuff off and change out the valve springs, put the new cams in, and retime the engine. So, without further ado, let's get out there, it's a hot one, and get started. Real quick before we get started, I wanna talk about a couple tools that I'm going to be using in order to remove the valve springs without pulling the head. Number one would be the Schley Products 91400B. I'm actually going to leave a link to this guy down in the description because for right around $100, if you plan on doing this, this is going to be a lifesaver. Doesn't mean it's going to be simple, but it's going to be a lot simpler than any other way that I've ever seen it done. So that was definitely worth the price. The other thing that is going to help is I took an extension from a uh, compression tester and I adapted it to an air hose so that I could obviously pressurize the cylinder. That will keep the valve up while I exchange the valve springs with this tool here. So let's get out there, let's get started and I'll show you how to do it.
So, I made a little extra work for myself. I dropped one of the valve keepers down the oil drain back hole in the head. So, obviously I've lost a valve keeper down in the oil pan. So I have to pull the oil pan off later to retrieve it. Currently it's holding the valve. I'll probably order in uh, another keeper for the time being until I can pull the oil pan. Okay, we're gonna start day two here. And in order to do the intake side, which I'm going to show you with the tool, how I'm pulling these, these valve springs. Um, in order to do that, I'm gonna have to pull the turbo fold and uh, obviously the turbo, get those out of the way so that I've got room to use the tool. So let me get set up. It's very hot out here in Louisiana. Obviously, I'm already dripping. Uh, so let me get set up. I'll pull the turbo fold and we'll get started. So the crane cams are not in due to a bonehead mistake on my part. In my haste to get things done, you know that I lost a valve keeper down the oil drain hole from the head. That means I'm going to have to pull the oil pan in order to retrieve it. On my engine stand, the motorcycle lift, it's sitting on the oil pan. So until I put the engine on a hoist, I'm not going to be able to drop, drop the oil pan yet. So I have more keepers on the way. I have one keeper that I need to find and install. What I'm going to end up doing is putting the keeper that comes in uh, on the engine, button it back up. That way, when it's time to put it on the hoist, I can put it, the engine on the hoist, drop the oil pan at that time. So that's the plan there. Speaking of, what did you guys think of the um, motorcycle lift as an engine stand? I think for this job, at least for me, the extra stability of it being in that sort of cradle really helped when I was torquing on the engine with that valve spring compressor. And that valve spring compressor worked really, really well. You do have to move things around a little bit, and at times it can be a little bit clunky, but compared to anything else that I've ever seen in use for our engines, 
that's the way to go. I'm in love. I will continue to use that next time I do something crazy like this. So for a little over $100, that is definitely worth the money. Installing those valve keepers is not easy. It takes a few tries. It, it literally took me the first bank on the intake side to really get a rhythm going. On the exhaust side, which I showed you, it didn't take long at all. I'd say it took me half the time or even less to get all of those knocked out. So overall, not exactly where I wanted to be, but I learned a few things. I definitely learned to uh, plan things out even better. Not overlook the fact that uh, you left open holes down into the engine, James. But overall, I think it went well. And that is going to be this installment of the driveway build. Um, next week, let's see if we can get this thing buttoned back up on the cam side and get it timed. If you would, let me know what you think. Give me some ideas. Uh, what would you like to see? And uh, like, maybe subscribe, and we will catch you next week on XI Tunes.